Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Saga and I'm currently a software engineer in London, but I am also an aerospace engineering graduate from the University of Sheffield. If you're watching this video, there's a high chance that you're probably someone who wants to study engineering in the UK and have considered the University of Sheffield as one of your choices. And well, since I studied at Sheffield, I basically made a video explaining some of the reasons why you should choose Sheffield as a university to study engineering. Firstly, the University of Sheffield has an amazing reputation within the engineering world. In the UK, the University of Sheffield is often ranked among the top 10 universities for studying aerospace, mechanical, chemical and materials engineering. In addition to this, pretty much all the engineering courses that I'm aware of at the University of Sheffield are accredited by one or more of the really top tier institutions institutions within the UK such as IET, Royal Aeronautical Society, IMECI, ICHEMI and Energy Institute. The significance of having these accreditations and well doing an accredited course is that you're basically able to then go on to try and get a chartered engineering status which is what generally called as getting a chartership and for in order to do that you have to have a master's degree which is accredited by one of these sort of institutes. I personally don't really know the value of being a chartered engineer engineer nowadays it's sort of like something up for debate but that's a whole different story altogether. Another plus of the university is that there are so many different types of labs that you will do whilst you're studying and also the facilities that these labs have are actually some of the best in the country. As an aerospace engineering student I actually used quite a number of these labs um, because my course was quite diverse in the subjects that we got taught. So I got to use the flight simulator lab, the jet engine lab, the fluid dynamics lab, the material lab as well as the electronics lab. Firstly the fluids lab that has things like wind tunnels, it has pipes where you can basically look at the water and see if it's like viscous flow, laminar flow etc and then in the electronics lab you have well electronics and you have things like oscilloscopes there we go um, and various other sort of electronic devices which I can't remember off the top of my head because there are so many. And yes in the materials lab there are things like you know stress testing devices where you basically have these massive machines which are able to clamp onto some some material and try and pull it apart and measure the stresses and basically forces involved in that. And you also have things where it tests the hardness of a material so you can have like you know your Vickers hardness test and so on. The university actually has quite a few good links within industry and some of the more aerospace specific ones are things like Boeing, Airbus and Skyrora which is a rocket startup in Scotland and those are the main ones that I'm aware of because well like I said before I did aerospace engineering but I'm sure the university does have plenty of other connections with industry especially things like Rolls-Royce and Jaguar Land Rover I believe if you're in the mechanical sort of area those are the type of industries that you'd have good connections to. The best bit about being an engineering student at the University of Sheffield in my opinion is the actual amount of student-led engineering projects that you're able to join because these aren't projects you know they're not like little things where you can get a Raspberry Pi maybe put a few LEDs on them no nothing like that they're like real badass projects. So one I was involved with, Project Sunbite, we basically launched an automatic sun tracking telescope that was on a high altitude balloon that went to an altitude of 40 kilometers, which is, you know, just under halfway to space. And we also have a rocketry team. I keep saying we, even though I'm no longer a student, but yeah, there is also a rocketry team. There's like other drone teams. There is like a locomotive team where they're building a train. Uh, there is also Formula Student where they basically make a race car. And there's other projects that are definitely appearing on the horizon that even I don't know of yet because I no longer study at Sheffield. But yeah, the reason why these projects are cool is because some of them give you the opportunity to tra travel without paying anything. So for me, I traveled with Project Sunbite in my first and second year of uni where I got to go to NASA in the United States which was pretty awesome because I didn't think I'd be doing that in my first and second year at university so definitely get involved in projects if you do decide to go to the University of Sheffield. If you do want to see more specifically what an aerospace engineering course is like at the University of Sheffield do check out this other video here which I made before so click on that and enjoy that one. See you in another video guys.